All right, I think we're live again. Hi. I have to plug in my phone because I realized that the battery is getting low. Let's see where I can plug in. Oh, are you you're taking over from my seat here? Hi, Jules. I'm trying to plug my phone in because it needs to be charged. Okay, I think it's working. I think it's charging. I realize that these live streams take a lot of the battery from your phone, but um I've got my tea, but I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I've invited Melania of, I'm going to have to ask how they um, pronounce the name of their boutique. Marcio, Marcio Nilas, Marcio Nilas. I'm sure it sounds beautiful and I'm just butchering it. Oh gosh, I have no class. What tea are you... It is, it is a detox tea. It's like honey and it's supposed to be good for, I don't know, something. It smells and tastes terrible, Joey. It's, it's, but I'm so used to it that, and I like to think that it's doing something healthy for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I hope that so far you're enjoying all of this. I hope that you are shopping and supporting these wonderful humans. Can I tell you that the last the last one that we did, the last one with Sharon, no lie. Like I know it, there's technical difficulties and it takes a little bit to get up and running and all that. And I don't mind. I don't think anybody minds really. But um I got emotional on that last one. I did. I got, I saw Sharon's face and, you know, like I mentioned, I, I've met her a handful of times. I've gone to her home in London. We've, you know, for that London meetup, she stored all the stuff. Like she, I needed a place to send it. So I sent it to her and she like had boxes of my doll stuff in her house for like a month. So I consider her a true friend, somebody that I've, I've known for a few years now, and she's already just an amazing human. If she is indeed human, I'm not sure, but it's the first time I think I've seen someone, you know how like you haven't seen a friend in a really long time and you finally get to see them. Maybe it's virtual. I just saw her face and it just, just for a second, Oh, how do I join? I think I invited you. I see Melania. Oh, wait, hold on. Here she is. I got a little, I got a little emotional, which I think is okay. Anyway, oh, oh, hello. hello. <laughs> Hi, Melania. <laughs> are, you, are you on a computer? No, I'm on my phone, but I, <laughs> I switched my phone to this, uh, Oh, all right. Okay. All right. So I think what you might need to do is leave and come back and then just make sure you're this way. Oh, okay. Just one second. All right. Yeah, we're here. What? What? You like Melania? Do you want to learn about her goods? This is Shiatin. She got her name because I got her as a rescue and she had not been taught how to use the litter box. So her and her little siblings pooped all over the place, didn't you? Yes, yes you did. You pooped everywhere because you didn't know how to use the box. There was some training involved. We got closer to the box, right? And then eventually, success. You pooped in the box. I know. But you already had the nickname Shitten. Then you answer to it. Anyway, she too is enjoying the live streams because it means I'm sitting still in this one place all day. And she's like, oh my God, this is amazing. We're co-workers. We're streaming together, right? Yeah. 
You know what's funny about this cat is every time I would get some expensive um, piece of clothing, like I'd order something like a doll outfit, and it can be amongst other not as expensive things. This cat has great taste and she always wants to lay on top of the most expensive item. Like, oh, is this, was this hand dyed? And is this like a, an original pattern from the artist? Yes, I think I'll, I think I'll lay on that. Thank you very much. All right, let's see if we get her back the right way. You ready? Oh, okay. Oh, oh my gosh, what's going on back there? Um, it's I'm already a teeny tiny part of my collection because it's only a part of it. And if it's okay, I'm going to show it to you guys. I just don't know how to uh, make my stand stand up <laughs> because okay. I think my camera stand was designed for my phone to stay like okay. that. And uh, let me see if I can somehow make it oh, yeah, able I, to stand up. Actually, I went to a store to get this special stand so I could put my phone this way. Otherwise it'd be sliding, my cat be knocking it over. So take your time. I'm excited to learn. I found a call. Maybe that will help a little bit. Now it's better. <laughs> awesome. So can I just say I think we you and I have been Facebook friends for a long time. I think we yes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> And we've never virtually met, so mm -hmm. this is amazing. No, so I know you from your pictures, but I we've never really we've never done this. Yay! I think we are friends since I don't know about two years ago because uh, I I actually won one of those little uh, is it called Bill dolls? Yes. The little one that's uh, just oh the little one. <laughs> this one. Oh my gosh! It's here, it's here it's next week. Of course, and okay. part of my collection. It's um, by the way my only uh, build doll. So <laughs> I usually don't get oh. small dolls because uh, yeah. I'm not like a huge fan of them. They are really hard to work with <laughs> yeah. as a uh, doll uh, clothing maker. And uh, but otherwise, he's really cute. So. So cute. So before I ask you about your shop, though, what do you collect back there? Because I'm sorry, I'm so distracted. What are those dolls? <laughs> so uh, I'm actually a uh, doll and a toy collector. So I collect dolls and action figurines. And I've been a collector ever since I can remember. But I really started getting into dolls since 2010, so basically more than 10 years ago. And it all started for me with Monster High. Uh, before Monster High, I actually hated dolls. <laughs> that sounds weird. No, I never, when I was a kid, I never ever played with any dolls. I only had like uh, figurines, I only had cars, <laughs> I only had plushies. Yeah. So Monster High was just a huge game changer to me and it was because of Monster High that I got into uh, clothes making for dolls. So yeah, it was just a huge, huge change for me. And back yeah. there, um, I don't know if I can turn my, can I turn my camera around? You sure? There should be a little camera icon that lets Oh, there we go. So here oh. is this wall that you cannot see. <laughs> Oh my! So gosh. this is my living that dolls collection and uh, some figurines over there. And over here, uh, those are all of my Monster High uh, OCs or own characters that I uh, repainted and made their clothes and their stories and whatnot. Some other random dolls over there. <laughs> and um, by the way, here I have my uh, piggies. I have uh, guinea pigs. Two girls oh, and oh my, boy, my other boy is uh, somewhere hiding, probably underneath over there. Now up there, I have my Monster High collection. I was only collecting the basic releases of the dolls because I just can't afford to buy all of it and I don't have free space to put them. Underneath them, I have some vintage trolls. Um, so going all around, they're all the Monster High and Ever After High dolls. I have the full basic collection of both of the series. 
up there and here are some other like novi stars and uh, some living dead dolls fashion victims some uh, lol omg dolls only two for now um and over here i have some azon dolls um the bleeding edge gods collection wow. and a bunch of like figurines those are in like a glass cabinet and uh, there's this, this huge wall filled with some dragons, mythological creatures, uh, dinosaurs, uh, you name it. <laughs> yeah. I'm a huge collector of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as well. So <laughs> this is all full of TMNT uh, stuff. And I have some aliens over here too. Uh, I do want to make, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little bit dark here. Uh, I want yeah. to make like a, a diorama. Yeah. Uh, for them and uh, have this all like with lights and everything. I just haven't got the time to uh, do all that yet. So a bunch of stuff is still in box over here. I need to review this. I have the full series one and two of Rainbow High. Um, so yeah, just and a whole bunch, like a huge, huge part of my collection is already boxed away because I just don't have the free space to <laughs> display everything. <laughs> so that is the most unique display <laughs> I've ever seen. I was thinking you could charge admission. Like that's somebody actually said in here, that's a museum. That's <laughs> amazing. Everyone, basically everyone says that, why don't you just charge whenever someone yeah. comes in here? <laughs> Entrance fee at the door, I'm, that is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So many questions, so many questions. Um, Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my head is like spinning. So how do you, like you said, you like the Ninja Turtles and what is it about these things that you, like there's no common thread. You're like, I like this, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna do this. So is there uh, some sort of aesthetic or something that your style uh, that you- Not really, I mean, uh, style, I guess. I mean, I like cute stuff and beautiful things. But I also like horror stuff and weird things and just overall, like for example, I also have like a huge collection of plushies. <laughs> um, but I, recently I stopped collecting plushies and I only get the ones that I'm like really, really liking because again, I don't have any free space. Uh, I collect for example, monster plushies because here in my country, and by the way, if, uh, someone out there wonders, I am from Europe and I am from Romania, to be more exact, Transylvania. <laughs> and uh, here the people are like really, really religious and uh, mm -hmm. I am not, <laughs> but a lot of people like, for example, parents don't let their kids buy like monsters and Monster High was kind of a little bit problematic over here too. So mm -hmm. I just honestly feel sorry for like, monster plushies and stuff like that because i know that they won't get like picked up and bought and yeah. sometimes i also rescue like toys in like really really bad condition and restore them i do some restoration stuff in my <laughs> in my um free stuffy time whenever I'm, i mean i'm always booked i always have some project going on if not with my shop mm. then my own projects i do door customizing painting uh sewing, uh, restoration, uh, name it. <laughs> I do all Amazing. So did you, I, did I hear you say that you reviewed all? Do you do YouTube videos? Do you do? And I think uh, it was posted over here too, uh, in the comment section. I do have a uh, YouTube channel. I've been doing it for a few years now. I'm not sure uh, how old my YouTube channel is. And my name is Werewolf Lydia <laughs> over oh, there. Yeah. And uh, That's right. That's right. I do I do post over there what uh, I get. I do post like flea market reviews because I do go every uh, week. I'm going to next day. So tomorrow I will be over there too. Toy hunting, stuff is cheap and I can find like old stuff that's no longer in stores. Like I usually buy, uh, I have my a project that I started. I, I can show it to you. The first piece of it, it's done. It's, uh, I'm doing a project with my scene uh, Barbie dolls. And I am uh, kind of transforming them into the Zodiac signs. Oh, fun. What a great idea. Here is the first one I just like really recently um, 
revealed it on my art page. So this is the Aries, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Oh my gosh. And I made her clothes, I made her horns, of course, because she needs horns. She has oh a little gosh, clothes. The horns. <laughs> and the boot. Oh, so all of you it post photos of these? And I have to take some photos, post them. Uh, I have them on my art page, but I can post it over here okay. too. Uh, and I also made actually a doll stand for her, which originally it wasn't like uh, like planned, but I just had to. So this is the doll stand. It has a little uh, ramp. Oh my gosh. That is a whole diorama. Yeah, so uh, I'm actually making some um, free space on my shelves to be able to display this one and to finally be able to open my rainbow high dolls because uh, I don't have currently any free space to <laughs> display them. So again, I have to pack away some stuff, but it's a collector problem. Oh, it is. I want to do a vlog on space <laughs> and how it sort of it's, it's just... know, determines where we go. Now I'm so curious about... So um, I, I messaged you this morning about this, which was... I have the links and they all say Lydia, but I've never known you as Lydia. So where did the werewolf, where did werewolf Lydia come from? Uh, werewolf Lydia or BJ Lydia. Um, that was actually my first one, but uh, back like, I don't know, like more than 10 years ago, uh, my YouTube channel got deleted because uh, back then I uploaded like some music videos with, um, oh, sure. yeah, and the copyright and stuff like that. So. Uh, that's how I became werewolf Lydia because I am a huge werewolf fan. <laughs> okay. So, um, if I can choose like a favorite monster type, that's definitely werewolf. So, and the Lydia, I'm just a huge fan of Beetlejuice and Lydia, so BJ Lydia. <laughs> that makes so much sense. So tell me, did you did you get the dolls from? Uh, did you get those Monster High dolls? No, I didn't get them because uh, well, for now since. 2017, when I completed my full collection, I stopped before the whole reboot. I didn't like the reboot mm -hmm. at all. And these collectibles, okay. the problem with them is that they are really, really expensive, in my opinion. Pricey. And the that. shipping from the US to over here is like $45 or even more. Oh my gosh. But I would have to pay taxes for the price of the dolls plus the shipping, because the shipping counts as, I don't know, the price again. And because it will be over $150 with all that, I would have to pay even more for import fees. So I would end up probably oh, paying yeah. more than $200 for them, and that's just not for my wallet. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, especially if you know that you can get dolls there, uh, certain dolls there fairly affordably. Uh, I'm, I'm grabbing a ton and I have a full box with uh, dolls that are waiting to be customized. I have over, I like pretty much over 60 dolls. That's just Monster High. And I usually grab them at the local flea market for about one or two dollars per piece. <laughs> so uh, same goes for my scene dolls as well. So stuff like that is really cheap. They usually don't come with clothes or sometimes they like missing especially the Monster High dolls missing their hands or whatnot, but I can replace those uh, a little bit easily and they need a good washing and that's all, so. Okay, so, um, well, tell me about your shop then. When did you start doing this? Uh, so much. You decided to make it a little business? Like, uh, really connected to, again, Monster High, so. <laughs> I can say that yeah. I just changed my whole life. Um, I started collecting Monster High dolls in 2010 when the whole thing started. And I started making my own characters, like uh, repainting and making my characters in 2011. So this year marks 10 years since I've been doing this. Oh, congrats. And um, the problem with that was that I didn't know how to make doll clothes. Uh, my mom didn't know how to make doll clothes. Uh, she basically hates uh, sewing. <laughs> which is funny. Okay. And uh, I was like buying these uh, knockoff, like fake dolls from the stores made by uh, the Chinese people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, just dressing my dolls up with those clothes. And I could honestly never ever find clothes that like how I imagined them, colors, the looks. 
And slowly I started uh, sewing by hand in like the next year in 2012. And I was, every year I was getting better and better. And um, my parents saw this and they said that, and a lot of like our uh, relatives and whoever came by said that they are really good. But I told them that um, I think my, like hand sewing something is uh, much more difficult. It takes more time. Like it takes at least for a dress, like two days for me, at least. I'm like a slower, slow working person. <laughs> And uh, I always felt that even though I hand stitch them, they are not like perfect. And I'm like really a perfectionist when it comes to my work. So my parents said that, okay, for your birthday, and that was in 2014, you're going to get a sewing machine. And I did. And I've been struggling a little bit. At the first, I had like a, a half a year when I was like working out how everything works because I never learned to sew. Like school doesn't teach us such things anymore. <laughs> and uh, slowly but surely, I was like, I remember like sitting down and just working on the patterns like for at least two weeks and making them perfect. And I slowly started doing like that. And uh, I just had so many, like, I was so frustrated. Sometimes I was like, I'm going to just give up and do by hand and I don't care. <laughs> but eventually, I got back in and I think it was like in 2015 when I opened my shop on Etsy. So first okay. I started out on Etsy and I was there for like half a year or something, but stuff wasn't selling like almost mm -hmm. at all. I only sold like two or three pieces and mm -hmm. with the fees for listing the items plus the fees of the transactions and the monthly yeah. fees on Etsy and everything, that little money that I was earning is just it was gone. So I had to figure something out to be more <laughs> profitable if I'm spending time with this. And that's when I yeah. moved to, um, to the Facebook. And uh, slowly but surely, um, they started like telling Monster High Close to, uh, but my big break was with leaving that doors close, which is weird because I didn't expect people to actually like redress them because they are not passion dolls, but. Right. And, uh, People asked me if I would do commissions, and I said, yeah, I can try. And ever since then, I, I've been doing commissions too. So I'm mostly getting my, if I can say that, I'm getting my money out of commissions and not like stuff yeah. I actually make to sell, but I'm here and this, is, this year marks my fifth year uh, with my shop on Facebook in December. It will be. So yeah. I'm so okay so you, well custom commission work is interesting because people have a vision of what they want and i think it takes a lot more thought but i always find that the finished product is really quite beautiful and i'm looking at you do these capes that i think are just gorgeous oh yeah i I'm still have one for sale of those <laughs> capes as well okay well i might need one of those so all right um okay so what type of let's see what do you have for sale let's what i have for that. sale uh, before i get into sale just one more thing that i would like to add uh with my weird uh shop name <laughs> you mentioned that uh, mm, mm. how do you pronounce it i'm so sorry it's marcionilas marcionilas oh and okay. marcionila is actually one of my monster high characters so it's basically like oh. her shop in a way because I imagined her, I designed her in 2013 and I imagined her like making her own clothes. That was just like an idea. And from that started this idea that why not uh, make a shop for her. <laughs> oh, and I actually have her here. So this is Marcella oh. if anyone is interested. Wow. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Um, she is like a health angel, health demon, so <laughs> that's why she looks like this. And she was made from a uh, goose rule clothing back in the days. I'm pretty sure most of the people know who, how she looked originally. Yeah. So She's yeah. Completely different. So did you do that hair, the wings? Um, well, the you... hair is the original one. I mean, it was like this uh, color and this clocking also. I'm I'm not the best when it comes to hair, even though I actually have okay. a diploma of. Uh, 
hair styling, <laughs> but I, I can't do hair. But otherwise, uh, yes, I repainted her. Uh, I did these um, curls in the front. I repainted her face. I'm not sure how well yeah. you can see that. I made her clothes, and these these are still the hand stitch ones. So these were made by hands. Oh and uh, her shoes. I made her wings wow. as well. The wings are movable and they are detachable with uh, some magnets. So I can. Uh, magnets? Wow. Yes. So yeah, she's, she's one of my oldies, but I still love her. I, all, I love all of my characters. They're really important to me. <laughs> so she's what kind I, of like um, your inspiration, your mascot almost for the shop. Huh? I guess she's on actually on the banner uh, picture on my shop too. So she's doing over there. She has a tiny sewing machine that I also made for her. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look, it's all coming together. <laughs> and that teeny tiny sewing machine, that is so adorable. Okay, so you're finding Facebook though to be a better place for you. Yes, sale. definitely. Okay. I was thinking about actually trying and going back to Etsy, but they are asking for, I don't know if that's uh, like in the US too, but from Europe, they're asking like, you have to have a bank account and attach your bank account oh. and you have to have like uh, some certain papers from the authorities and something like that and i don't know it's just all weird so i just didn't want to get involved with all yeah. that stuff. i don't blame you i mean my so my mom had a shop and she did it for fun more than anything but it it didn't it did seem like over the years as you kept asking for more stuff and you had to verify this and add this yeah. and i thought this feels yeah way more regulated than it needs to be yes. um, so yeah i don't blame you but okay i think it's okay, so me, because of the european union asking for certain mm -hmm. stuff i don't know but i just don't feel comfortable with sharing so much information about myself so i know they're and, already going to get their chunk on facebook from your fees and this fee so yeah I get it. facebook is free so <laughs> So is the best way to get a hold of you? I mean, like, so on your Facebook page, I see for sale, but is that up to date? I mean, are you posting? Uh, Where's the best whenever, way? Whenever, um, you should access the, the pictures or the albums. And over there, if you click on the see all the albums. Yeah. Sorry if I'm oh, see all. the names weirdly because my phone is actually Hungarian. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. uh, and over there, and a commission price list. Yes, I have a commission price list too. I haven't included the new dolls, the Rainbow High and the LOL OMG dolls yet, but I, I want okay. to update that eventually. Oh, good. Good, because I, I mean, I like the Rainbow High. I've, I've, I've started collecting some of those, and they're perfect to have custom clothes made. Oh, okay. I see the list of dolls. Sheba Juku girls. Remember those? Remember those dolls? Yeah. Do they still have them over there? You can't. No, you can't. Uh, they are. They. We had the first and second series. I, I remember that there was a third series of those, but those never came over here because they weren't selling well. I actually got the yeah. full first series and the new character from the second series. Uh, I think her name is Mickey. Uh, and I actually made like really just a few pieces of clothes for them trying to sell them but out of four clothes three of them sold like really hardly and I still have one of them <laughs> and it's all on sale too. Um, if anyone is interested here it is I, I uh, put it over here. Is this black black velvet dress? Oh um, that's the picture I'm, yeah, that's yes. the picture I'm looking at. Hold on. I think it's on sale now for four dollars or something like that. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Okay, hold on. So I just want to, honestly, I just, yes, that, that's the one. I just want to get rid of it because it's been staying over here for like years. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just want to go somewhere. Go somewhere. I think it's beautiful. That's the one I actually zoned in on because I love the black and the green. Sorry. All right, there we go. So I do have a few like uh, examples here from, uh, well, I, you know why I mostly do Monster High still, even though Monster High is not selling well? Because, and it's got to do again with my uh, own characters. Uh, I'm making mm -hmm. this, and it's on my art page, I'm making this uh, basically a calendar. 
on my art page. And for every month, I go out and take pictures of one of my dolls. And usually, not always, depends on how I have time, but I make new clothes every month for that doll, take the pictures, and then put it up for sale. So, <laughs> wow. And here is one of the... What? I was gonna ask, are there these really cute leggings too? Do you do these? Um, I, if I'm correct, if the first picture is of uh, a Laguna and one of the Ever After High dolls, then yes, I can make, those are to, made for uh, order. I still have the okay, fabric somewhere. Sassy. So, <laughs> uh, I have yeah, the outfit over here from uh, July's because I haven't made the August picture yet. Sometimes I'm a little bit late. <laughs> uh, from the July uh, calendar picture, and this isn't up in my shop yet, so this is like a exclusive little <laughs> uh, preview. This is a boy outfit, a summer boy outfit. This is a little oh like, Superman T-shirt, and this one is a little short. And these parts, so the green and yellow, were painted by me, so. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And a funny thing about Monster High boy clothes, uh, we found out with one of the, um, one of my clients who is actually part of this group too. I'm not sure if he's watching or he is working uh, right now. Uh, but Monster High boy clothes uh, fit the uh, ISOL yeah. dolls. So he usually, whenever he asks me uh, for like a ISOL outfit, I make them on uh, like a boy monster high doll and it fits because I don't have any ISOL dolls or uh, anything like that. So I try oh, to oh always well. like, if you had an ISOL doll, would you make ISOL doll clothes? Mm, I don't know. Probably. Probably. My okay. main thing, it will always be like monster high because that's just my main thing <laughs> and my character. I, I will try. I do want to make during September probably some uh, like work out some uh, patterns for the Rainbow High and the OMG dolls and make some. I have some really cute uh, Halloween uh, patterned uh, fabrics okay. that I ordered like last year. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I want to make some and see how they turn out. Not sure yet. I hope I will have time for those, but. And uh, well, I'll yeah. tell you that there is such a shortage, I think, of boy clothes or, you know, not gender specific clothing. Um, I mean, those pants with the little chains and stuff, I would put that on any doll. And it just feels almost like street clothes, like that you might see on any exactly those type of outfits oh my gosh i'm dead oh uh, punk is like, my I would put that on girl dolls boy dolls non-gender doll like those are so cute <laughs> and that's uh, very different from what i'm saying i'm sorry that was she didn't that didn't hurt her it's just she her <laughs> i have a cat um, so i know how it oh, is you do okay yeah she's insisting on being here until she's not but i'm covered in cat here so um all right so so what's next for you? What are you? I also do. What are you, what are you most excited about? What are you doing? What's going on? Tell me. Give me the scoop. Uh, well, this month I'm actually taking like a uh, little break. I'm on, on vacation from my shop. I don't take commissions. But if anyone okay. wants like anything from my shop, then I can uh, ship it out like the next day after payment because I'm, I'm home. Um, okay. At the moment, I'm doing a big big cleaning in my room because everyone, everything is just so dusty. So I'm like halfway done with that. After that, uh, I'm not sure. I want to make the outfit for the August calendar page and that yeah. will go up for sale eventually. And after that, I am not sure. I'm, as I said before, I want to work on the Halloween clothes and eventually I want to work on, and I think I mentioned it, but only for uh, you. So this is like, again, exclusive news that since my shop, <laughs> since my shop is turning five years old uh, this December, I think it's on December the 6th, uh, throughout December, I want to hold a giveaway. And on my Facebook page and on my, give, on my uh, Instagram page for my shop, so my uh, shop also has an Instagram page, 
and uh, so there will be two winners and I'm what I'm planning on and hopefully it will work out is that um, something that fits most of the dolls so it can fit polyp dolls as well larger ones smaller ones you'll see <laughs> nice oh all right that's exciting so people should follow you on Facebook that's where I get all my news and Instagram and then how do we know what you have for sale right now? Because like some of the pictures I'm looking at seem to be a couple years old. So is there um, like a new album? In the album, um, so I actually like have a album called Sold Items. So you shouldn't search there. <laughs> but all okay. the other stuff that's in the albums are up for sale, like available right now. Okay. So like the for sale Monster High, for sale A Zone, these yes. are all things that yes. are available. Okay. I have pretty much all of my A Zone clothes. Like, I have this super cute like uh, Queen of Hearts type of dress for A Zone dolls. Like it's been sitting here for at least like two years now. Uh, oh, shit. Well, I don't know. I'm people, shopping. honestly, and I don't mean to like be rude to anyone, but. People in the Asian community, I don't know why, but they prefer to buy like original Asian clothes that cost like three or four times more than actually buy <laughs> stuff from uh, like, like uh, I make or other like doll clothing makers. So it's a bit weird. I don't know. Um, I guess I understand because they are more, probably more perfect and more I don't know, well made, more quality, I'm not sure, but it's it's just that weird. <laughs> um, but so where are most of your, where would you say the, the majority of your customers are from? And I gotta show people this, cause it's like a- um, it's like From a the US area. and from the UK, definitely. Okay, sorry, I have to show this. This is like, this would be my- Oh yeah. My frozen, look at this. <laughs> that was a commission for someone like a long, long time ago. But still, wouldn't that be fun? What if Frozen was with that character? A completely different movie. Okay. I still have this one over here too. It's a kimono. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is that a kimono? Yes, and it, here's, it has the obi as well. Where's the camera? Here we go. Oh my gosh, so you do all kinds of outfits. Yeah, I actually really love doing kimonos. I have some really cute fabrics too, but uh, kimono like takes up so much fabric, you wouldn't believe. <laughs> and they yeah. actually come with a, a pair of, uh, of uh, I think these are called geta, or I'm not sure, the slippers. <laughs> the little shoes. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. So where did you, where did, where did that come from? I made them. <laughs> no, you did not. Yes, I did. And these are- I'm about to call you a liar, but I like you. How did, okay, don't tell me how you made them, but can we, okay. It's easy, honestly. Those are like, my mom makes a lot of kimonos and the shoes always get to me. I cannot find, I have to pay a fortune and it takes forever to get one pair of those yeah. tiny little shoes. I'm like, man, I wish I could They are easy to make, that's for sure. Uh, but they are made of, honestly, made of, made of cardboard and wood and what? just painted them, put a layer of nail polish over them and it's done. <laughs> I can't, uh, I can't make the shoes that are like uh, not open toed. Those are like really, really hard for me. But like slippers and like summer shoes, they are always just really easy to make. So I think anyone oh can buy them. Really that is amazing. I was just telling someone who was like, oh, I want to do something for dolls. I don't know. I'm like, make shoes. Please make shoes. <laughs> like there is such a shortage of being able to get just I shoes think, accessible across the world. Yeah, I, I did order like some boots for my Azon uh, dolls and like just overall like shoes made from leather. I, I paid like, I don't know, a fortune for those as well. They are just really, really expensive. And I, I, I get it because in these tiny uh, sizes and especially for small, uh, uh, smaller dolls like Azon and everything like that, the shoes are have to be even smaller and they are, the smaller the shoes, the more expensive they are. <laughs> oh. Of course. Well, I mean, they're worth it. I mean, I'd pay, I'd pay a small fortune for them. It's just, I know that when I want a pair of that geta, I know I'm going to be waiting three months because I don't, 
you know, they have to be made to order and I don't know how long. So anyway, it's, I'm just amazed and impressed that you have that skill. When I, I get the order in, like I immediately, if I have the, the fabrics or the materials the home, I immediately put everything aside and start working on it. Uh, if I don't have any other like orders waiting because whoever orders the first, that's the first person to be getting their order, of course. Oh my but, gosh. Yeah, I, I, I always I will fight you. I will fight everybody. I'm just kidding on that. That's no, <laughs> awesome. First come, first serve, right? Uh. <laughs> He's like, you've done enough. <laughs> I'm not getting enough attention. So cool. uh, all right. So, so people should go to your Facebook. Well, they should like your Facebook page, Al. Um, they should follow you on Instagram. Right? Yeah, they can. You do, you do take commissions. Did I understand that you yes. will? You will take commissions for the what you have for sale. Have over there because sometimes, really, really rarely, I take for other type of dolls uh, that I have like something similar to in my collection. But I usually don't like to take uh, orders for the type of dolls that I don't own because I like to see sure. if it really fits. And otherwise, it's right. anxiety, <laughs> and I'm not happy. No, you're right. I think if um, we had an updated list of the dolls that you do work on that was super helpful uh i mean it's it's pretty much up to date i just have to add rainbow high and uh, lol omg and that's about it so <laughs> it's pretty much up to date okay so those okay, are the good. standard right. prices like the for a simple like top and pants or a simple dress if it's more like in detail or if it's like a cartoon outfit or a anime outfit or anything like that the, the prices can be a little bit higher of course because more details, more work, more stuff. That, sure. that makes sense. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, well, this was, uh, listen, I'm so happy I finally got to talk to you because, <laughs> I mean, I've, I've known you for a couple of years and, um, you know, I know that you participated in a MochaCon, so we've, I've been aware of your stuff for quite some time. I remember um, you really liked the um, Akasha, uh, Queen of the Vampires. Queen of the Damned, yeah, from, um, yes, Ken uh, Rice, wow. yeah, um, all right, so everybody follow Facebook, follow Instagram, check out the albums, and then um, I know that we have an album in our group, but I'll also um, just reach out to you after this and have a chat, because there is a couple things that I would like. Sure. I think you know, yeah. but, um, but I don't, I don't want to give it away, because I don't want to have to, you know, duke it out with other people, and then, um, yeah. So thank you so much for participating in this. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your summer. Thank and you. And I can't wait to see what else you do. So thank you for joining us. Tomorrow. And thank you for the invite. All right. Bye-bye.